bookmark links with any standard bookmarking tool and they're all treated the same way, as links. They all look the same and you don't know what's behind the links until you click them. My Mind is not a standard bookmarking tool. Save a link with My Mind and it knows exactly what it is and how it should look so you can easily find it later. My Mind does so much more, but even if you use it only for simple bookmarking, it's possibly the best tool for it. I'll show you what I mean. Let's save this book I plan on reading later. And this website I find inspiring. And this article I'm in the middle of reading, saved with a click. And these shoes I'm eyeing. And I'm going to add a tag here while I'm at it. Now this property I'm checking out. And this show I'm thinking about watching, adding it to my watch list. And this tweet I want to reference later. Now that was super easy. I saved everything with one click without breaking my flow or concentration. But the best part is when I go back to my mind. The links I saved instantly show up in my mind in a visual way. As you saw, I only saved links. I didn't organize them or do anything with them beyond that. And here's the magic. Every link looks different in my mind depending on what it is. The book has this beautiful book card showing the cover. And if I click into it, I can see the author, the publisher, and other information. The shoes show up as a product, even showing the price. And once again, I can get more information like the brand or designer right inside the card. The article shows up as an article, which I can read in my mind without distractions. The property has its own property card showing the price and other specs. The TV show shows up with its own poster, including the rating and summary. The website shows the homepage so I can recognize it at a glance. And the tweet looks like a tweet. My mind didn't just save the links. It categorized and organized them for me with their own related cards. I didn't touch them or label them or do anything with them myself. Now I can easily browse and find what I saved among all my other bookmarks. Or even better, I could search for it. I could search books to see all the books I've saved to my reading library. Or I could search articles to see all the articles I've saved to my mind. Or products. Or movies to see all my movie bookmarks. Or I could get more specific and search the title of the book or article. Or I could search shoes. Or even the brand of shoes. Or a word from the tweet I saved. So as you can see, my mind uses smart bookmarking to support the way your real mind already works. No clicking through links that all look the same or digging through folders. You just think of what you want to find and you find it. It's effortless. You can even add notes to your bookmarks or tags so you can group different bookmarks you save for a specific project. And the best part is it's all in one private place. Before, you might have used five different tools for this, for your images, your articles, your notes, your links, your movies, your videos, and more. Now you just save it all in your mind with a click. It's magical.